everyone, it's Milky, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm actually quite excited about. It's an outfits video. Um, a while ago I was watching a video done by Rachel Maxi, I think that's how her name is pronounced, and she did a video where she did like um, outfits inspired by 20 different characters. I thought I would do something similar, but with anime characters. So I asked you guys to send in suggestions of characters on my Instagram story, and you did, and I chose 10 of those to make outfits inspired of. Um, they're not quite cosplays. Some of these I would wear out as regular outfits. <laughs> some of them I definitely wouldn't. So it's sort of a blend. Um, I'm kind of happy with how some of them turned out. Not that happy with how some of the other ones turned out, but I hope you guys will enjoy them nonetheless. Um, yeah, I just used items in my wardrobe, so again, these aren't cosplays, please don't comment saying how inaccurate certain things are. Uh, I know there are some things that I could have done better, but I did what I could using the items available to me, and so I hope you like this. With that, let's get started. First we have Sakura Kinomonta from Cardcaptor Sakura. I confess I've never watched the anime, just read a bit of the manga, but I adore her design and was inspired by her magical girl outfit for this look. I thought the bodice and sleeves of this dress looked quite a bit like hers and decided to add an overskirt for some extra magical fluffiness. I attached a bow onto one of my berets to look more similar to hers and I think it looks so cute. Both the dress and overskirt are handmade by me and the beret is off-brand. I thought these pom-pom shoes from Liz Lisa were a cute finishing touch. This look is definitely one of my favorites that I put together for this video. Next up is Honey Honey Nozuka from Oran High School Host Club. I tried to do a more feminine version of him because I don't really have any boy style clothes. I really love how this one turned out, I think it captures his playful cuteness quite well. My sister actually suggested that I do this look since we watched Oran together, and she loaned me this blazer from Rag and Bone that she has. Don't you think it's just perfect for Honey? Rather than go for the darker pants that he has, I chose this pink pleated skirt from Ulu Box for extra cuteness. The blouse I'm wearing is from Amabel, and it has the words delicious chocolate embroidered on it, which I think is perfect since he loves sweets. My shoes are from Melissa. I think they have a sort of school feel to them, so I thought they would look good for this look. Now we have Usagi Tsukino from Sailor Moon. I was inspired by her school uniform for this, and tried to go for a more vintagey look with a longer skirt, which is actually a vintage dress. The blouse I'm wearing is from Devil Inspired. It has such a magical girl feeling to it. Usagi's hair is kind of hard to style, so I just put these pom-poms in my hair to give an illusion of her hair buns. My shoes are from Doc Martens. The style of shoe works really well for uniform type outfits, I think. I'm so happy that several people suggested Madoka Kaname from Madoka Magica, as I really adore her and want to do a proper cosplay of her someday. I'm not too happy with how this look turned out though. Although the color scheme is similar to hers, I feel like it doesn't really give off the same vibe as either of her outfits, but I'll run through it anyways. The yellow and pink in this sweater from Yuvimi made me think of Madoka's magical outfit, and I paired it with this pink pleated skirt from Ulu Box. I added a red sash around the waistband to bring a bit more red into the outfit. I think red shoes would have been good for this look, but I didn't have any, so I used these pom-pom shoes from Liz Lisa. To accessorize, I have this heart-shaped wand necklace that I made a little while ago. I wish I was happier with this look, since I love Madoka so much. Next up is Nezuko Kamado from Demon Slayer. I think this look is definitely the most bizarre of the bunch, but strangely enough, I kind of like it. <laughs> My top is actually a robe that I got at Urban Outfitters many years ago. I usually just wear it after the shower, but I thought the sleeves and pattern look like the yukata that Nezuko wears. I layered it under this vintage velvet skirt from the 40s. I think the combination is a bit unexpected and quite cool. My shoes are from Kenneth Cole. I really like the design of them, as they remind me of something similar from Miu Miu. It's definitely a look I wouldn't put together otherwise, but I think for an Ezuko inspired look, it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. 
Now we have Uraraka Butchiko from My Hero Academia. I wanted something cute and bubbly for this look with a sort of pop feel to it. I'm wearing this neck puff that I made for my Charlotte cosplay because I think it adds a lot of volume to the look. My blouse is from Honey Cinnamon, and the pleated skirt is from American Apparel. Neck ruffle aside, this is definitely one of the more casual looks. My leg garter is actually a choker from Valfrey, but I thought that the pom-pom on it worked well for this look. My shoes are from Melissa, they're the same as the pink ones I wore earlier. Next up is Beelzebub from As Miss Beelzebub Likes. The character really loves fluffy things, so I tried to incorporate that into this rather fluffy Himekaji style look. I'm wearing this super soft Liz Lisa sweater over a Liz Lisa dress, which I layered a handmade apron over for extra fluffiness. To change things up from the pink pom pom shoes that I was going to use, I'm wearing these Demonia platforms, which I think give a bit more edge to this look. My earrings are made by Arisu Cookie from Instagram. She used to have a shop where she sold these, but unfortunately I don't think her shop is open anymore. I'm not super happy with this look overall, mostly because it doesn't really feel like Beelzebub, but I think it's cute nonetheless. Nagi no Asukara is one of my favorite animes, and I recently finished rewatching it, so I was eager to do an outfit inspired by Manaka Mukaido. I think she's so adorable. I'm wearing a dark blue cardigan from Wonder Rocket, layered over this Liz Lisa dress. The dress has a sailor collar, so I thought it would have a nice maritime touch to the look. I actually used to have a dress that would have been perfect for a Manaka inspired look, but I sold it a while back unfortunately. However, I think this still gives a vague feeling of her actual outfit. My hat is from Anc Rouge. I think it's a cute and summery piece. These shoes are from Axfem. They're so comfy. I love them. I tied together the outfit with these earrings I made a while ago. I tried to make them look like the ones she's always wearing. Now we have Queen Serenity from Sailor Moon. I'll say right away that this definitely didn't turn out how I wanted it to, it just feels way too casual for the character, but oh well. I wanted to mix white and yellow in this look to mimic the colors of her dress, and did that by layering this vintage bolero over a fluffy Liz Lisa dress. I'm wearing my Vivian Westwood rocking horse shoes to give a more luxurious feel to this look, but I think it would have done that more so if my skirt was longer. I accessorized with these moon and star hair clips and moon earrings. I really do like this jewelry, and I think it feels a lot like her. Lastly, we have Chino Kafu from one of my favorite animes, Is the Order a Rabbit? I actually want to do a real cosplay of her sometime, as I think this skirt works perfectly for her. I got it from Nordstrom Rack many years ago. To go with the color scheme she has, I wore this white top with blue ribbon detailing from Fint, I think it's pronounced like that, and paired it with this light blue on cruise sweater. My shoes are the same Doc Martin Mary Janes that I had earlier in the video. I'm wearing pom-pom earrings because the bunny Chino carries is super fluffy and I thought that they would be a nice substitute to having to carry around a plushie all the time. <laughs> So yeah, that just about sums up the video. Um, let me know which one was your favorite. I think um, my definite favorite one is Honey from Moron Post Club, and I also really like how my Cardcaptor Sucker one turned out. There aren't many that I didn't like how it turned out. There were a few that I'm not super happy with, but that's okay. Um, let me know if you liked this type of video. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. It took a bit of time, but it was a lot of fun. So let me know if you'd like to see something similar in the future. I think I might do something inspired by Sanrio characters, because I think that would be really fun, but maybe I'll do another anime one sometime, because this was fun too, although definitely a challenge. Because, like, 
there's the indecisiveness between oh do I make this look more accurate to the character or do I make it more wearable and so I struggled with that at times but overall it was fun. So as always thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely lovely day. Bye!